Hello and welcome to a new video. Today's video is about uh, iOS 15.3 beta 1. It's been out for a few weeks now and I'll talk about a few bugs in 15.3 beta 1 because I've been testing it on uh, my iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 12 as well as on XS Max and I've experienced a few things like some apps crashing and also on 13 Pro I was exploring on Safari and the browser crashed and that only happened once so I don't really want to blame on, on a beta one. So the first bug I want to talk about is about iMessage red receipt. Even, even though you turn the red receipt off the other party can still see that the message has been read. So that that's a the first bug was reported you know in iMessage 15.3 beta 1 so if you go and message which is right here and if you see send red receipt if you turn it off so technically the other person who's sent you a message he should not be able to find out if uh, you have read the message already or not but in iOS 15.3 beta 1 even though if you turn it off the other person can still see the message has been read so this is the major bug reported in 15.3 beta 1 and as I said earlier like some apps are crashing that is expected because it's beta software and I'm sure these little things will be fixed in iOS 15.3 beta 2 and finally in 15.3 final release. Now battery performance is not bad, it's fine on iPhone 12 as well as on iPhone 13. So if we go in battery, okay let me go in battery and the battery health is 99%. I've been using this phone quite a while along with my 13 Pro. It's my secondary phone. But still the battery performance is good. There's no issue with the battery performance in iOS 13 beta 1. Like no serious issue has been reported. So overall 15.3 beta 1 is uh, it's, it's doing good so far. You know, you shouldn't complain. After all, it's a bit of software, so we should we can expect some you know little bugs and stuff, but that will be fixed later on. So beta one was released on the third week of December, so we can expect beta two pretty soon, which is probably by second week in January. Now the additional features we can expect in fifteen point three final release, such as the private relay. Private Relay has been in beta for quite some time and hopefully Apple will add this feature in final release of iOS 15.3 before Apple promised to release in 15.2 uh, but it didn't happen but now hopefully uh, it, will, it will happen in 15.3 final release. So. Uh, another new feature which is expected in 15.3 uh, the if you go to messages you can see the emojis uh, the new emojis you can expect to roll out both in uh, iOS and as well as uh, iPad operating system so So now, the shortage bug was resolved in previous iOS, but some people still experiencing, you know, when you go to check the storage of an iPhone, sometimes it was taking too long to load. And if you go in general, iPhone storage, but iPhone 13 Pro and 12 is, is pretty good. And if we check on iOS, I mean, XS Max. So you go in settings and go to general. And 
iPhone storage. So I noticed in older devices, it was taking a bit longer than usual and it wasn't showing the correct storage used and uh, available. But in 15.3 beta one, I don't see any problem related to iPhone storage. And those are the major things uh, I thought I should highlight in 15.3. And uh, about the watch, yeah, and some people reported that they were having charging issue, but you know, my watch is dead right now, but it's, it's charging. So I assume that they must be having problem with the charges. Now there's no issue with the operating system. So that's it for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Let's wait for iOS 15.3 beta 2. And I'll, as soon as it's released, in a, probably next week. And I'll see you in next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. And see you in next.